So hello guys, Panagain here and in today's video I'll show you guys how you can move a 3D object in Unity using animations. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, first of all, what you guys need to do is to add the animator window. To do that, you simply need to go to Windows, and then go to Animation, and then click on Animation. It will create a new window, or open a new window. So, drag that window into this place, um, or where you want, here or here. It's your you can, preference. Now, uh, we need an object to animate. So now I'm quickly going to create um, two cubes, one to show you guys to how to animate and one for the base one. So I'll be just back in a minute. So, I just created a sample scene to show you guys how to do that. Now, uh, if you want to animate an object, just simply go to the, that object. Like, in this case, it's cube 1. So, I'm going to go to cube 1. Then, I'm going to go to this animation window. And then, I'm going to create a new animation. To do that, just simply hit on create. And then, it will open this and just name it new animation. I'm just going to name it move and then save it. So, here's the animation window. This is the timeline, as you all know. Um, in this property, you can like say that if the box collider will move, if it will like sh shrink in size, scale up, move or rotate and everything. Here is the play menu and then to go back and to record. So, um, in this case, we want it to move. So, to do that, we just uh, are going to click on Add Property, Transform, and then Position. As you can see right here, there are three options, Position, Rotation, and Scale. They're self-explanatory. Now, I'll click on this plus sign um, in the above, after all posi position, and this would add a position. You can add more if you want like if you want a position and rotation just click on this and if, if you want to move the like you know, scale so yeah now to record the actual thing you need to uh, click on this red thing it will start recording and here you can see here are two keyframes now if I start from here and I wanted to move there or let's say it's starting from there and I want it to move there. To do that, first I'll go this white line as you can see right here. This, is, this shows where you are right now. So I'm gonna go on this keyframe and then move it. So now let's start the recording. To do that, just click on this red button and then uh, make sure the white one is first on this these two key, this keyframe key on zero, zero and then drag this object to wherever you want it to start and then go to, we are going to go to the last keyframe of the one and then drag our object where we want it to end and then simply stop the play button like the record button now we can start to see the animation it automatically fills the frames in between as you can see right here it's moving which is pretty cool. 
now say you wanted to do like first go there and then there it's like in a right angle triangle so and you prob for that you probably need more frames if you want to go in like up and then right and left and then in all directions so you can add frames by just going to wherever you want to add frames and then click on add keyframe this will add frame here and if I record it and then if I just simply move it then stop the recording and then play it as you can see right here it first goes here then there and then here right now animations not smooth but let's try and playing it in the thing so as you can see right here it's moving and um, to control the speed of animation like to say you want it to stop like go slow right there and then uh, fast right there like from there to there so to do that you can simply like um, move this keyframe here and then space out the keyframe so for example if you want it to, to be fast I'm gonna move this right here and then if we see the animation it's gonna go like fast and then slow fast and then slow whereas if I wanted it to go slow I will move this keyframe far away from the first one almost here and then this will go slow from here to there and then fast now it will go slow and then fast yeah that's right as you can see right here it goes slow from in the here to there and then fast suddenly you can't even see it it's that fast so now let's take a look at the scale thing now to add this simply click on add property transform scale and then click on plus now you simply need to uh, it's as same as the thing you just need to uh, start the record button and then go to your keyframe I'm gonna leave it to 111 right here uh, and I'm just gonna move it around 30 and then I'm gonna move that here and then scale to 4 or let's say 3 and then in the last one I'm gonna do it 4 so now let's stop the recording and see what happened as you can see right here it grows steadily so the same rule applies with scaling that if you space out the keyframe uh, it will become slow or fast so you can do same with the rotation you just simply need to click on add properties and then there's transform and then rotation I already added it so for that you simply need to repeat the steps click on record go to the first frame and then the second frame uh, you can also change it in the first frame but I'm not gonna do that and I'm just gonna change some of the ra values randomly and then on the last one 55 and then let's select some random number 10 and then 90 and then let's see the magic so as you can see it's scaling rotating and moving at the same time so the reason why you can't see from here to there is because the two keyframes are uh, close right here if I just move this about here 30 because that's a window value it's 60 and 0 and one minute has 60 seconds so yeah so let's see what happens right now it should move at the steady speed always and yeah as you can see it's growing moving and rotating at the same time now to even further like uh, control the speed of the whole animation instead of just like parts you simply need to go to project uh, window and then find the animation in my case it's just right here uh, so you need to find that and there's so after finding the animation simply click on this uh, sign one so we need to click on this one the one is the with triangle and the fast moving sign and one is this one 
so we need to click on this one and then you need to find the name that you have given to it, the animation. In this case, I've been given it move and there will be two things, any state and then entry. So I'll simply click on move because that's the name I've given it and that's the main animation. I'm going to click on move and then you can see right here, this is the speed variable. So you can change it according to your need. So I'm going to make it slow and then let's try and play it. So as you can see right here, it's like moving from left to right, but originally it was moving from right to left. That happens because we had a negative value and you know negatives like the opposite of positive. So that's the reason why it happened. I would suggest uh, keeping it to a positive value. Like uh, if you want to make it slow, then simply z just do 0 0.0000 and yeah, any number. So thank you for watching the video. That's all we have time for today and goodbye.